So remember last year when I said, if you want the 100 baby challenge to continue and not take a year long hiatus again. And not take a year long hiatus again. Yeah, about that. It did in fact take a year long hiatus. But maybe that's because everyone seemed to be really liking the build video, so I wanted to keep making it. But either way, we are back today with another episode of the 100 baby challenge. We will be able to remember this as the last episode of the 100 baby challenge before infants are introduced. And if you're not familiar with the rules, I'll link them down below. If you haven't watched the other parts, I'll link them up here. Just be warned that the early episodes of this series are horribly edited, horrible audio, but just watch them at two times speed so you get the gist of it. But we are here back in the Austin household. This is our matriarch Serena just pushing that baby belly through the wall and she gives birth in question mark. In the house we also have Thunder and his sister Sage. And they actually are young adults so we can move them out. We have Sky here who's a B student and, and Sky needs to get a skill to level four. We have Casey and Gator as our toddlers and they really need to work on their skills. So I think in today's episode, our goals are to have the babies, get Sky to be an A student, and get as far as we can with the toddler skills, hopefully to level three. And also get Serena pregnant again after these babies come. So it's Thursday at 4.30 p.m. I'm actually gonna pop out to Manage Worlds and say goodbye to Thunder and Sage right now. Is this one of our kids? It's been too long since I played the challenge. Their last name is Austin, so I figured, but why do they live by themselves? I don't know, but there is space for two more Austin siblings in this household. So goodbye to Thunder and Sage. And now Serena is by herself with two toddlers and a kid. Poor Casey over here needs to go to sleep, so please, please, please go to sleep. Call this cheating if you want, but I downloaded a mod that lets the kids autonomously do their homework. I admit it, it might make things a little bit easier, but when you have like seven kids in the house, sometimes it's hard to remember. But I think now that we don't have any newborns, the toddlers are asleep, Serena's missing her older kids right now, and I think she's just gonna help with homework. She's gonna be a little bit of a helicopter mom. She's gonna say, hey, Sky, how's that homework going? Need any help? Is that writing homework? You know, you know I am a writer, right? Now Sky's feeling really focused but also tired and unpleasant surroundings. Why? 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 Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Serena, do you want to be a girl boss and repair it yourself? Oh, and Sky's already done with his homework. Let's go. Oh my god, he's falling asleep standing up. Poor thing. A single mom that works, well, technically no jobs. All right, she's got her kitchen upgrade part. She's cleaning out the fridge. Oh, and we, oh, we have more than enough food as well. Our teens were cooking in the kitchen for us. Also, something that I did is I changed all the kids' beds to these ones from Cats and Dogs because they are level 10 on energy. But my thing is, I don't love the look of these ones or the other like single energy level 10 beds that we have. I think them like slightly mismatching but also matching is okay. I don't know. I don't Serena know. Serena is kind of sleepy and to be quite honest, if those babes are coming anytime soon, please let's go to sleep now. I honestly forget who our next baby daddy is. I know we were talking to Vivon, but are we having his kids right now? Oh, Sky's mental level 2. I didn't even try for that. Oh, we do need him to get a skill to level three. So actually, Serena, that was a nice nap, but Sky does need to get his social up, so why don't we have a chat? Oh no, I have the dust bunnies enabled? Gone into labor! Oh no! Oh, we are really kicking this episode off with a bang, but wait a minute, buddy. I, I am gonna need you to talk about school, talk about toys. I need that social level three up, please. Look how cute! I'm gonna send you to sleep, and then we're gonna go to the hospital and have this baby. I could not tell you who the father of these kids are. Let's let's just go. Oh, she doesn't even have to check in. They have a VIP entrance for her, I guess. They say, welcome on in, you're back. How you been? How are the kids? How are my kids? How are the kids you've had with the other doctors, the nurses. I'm worried that it might actually be triplets because we do have room for triplets. Maybe that's why I had Thunder and Sage in the house still. Okay, it's a girl. I unfortunately lost the list and the wheel for all the names. So make sure you just keep commenting them. I'm just gonna pull them from comments and it looks like we have a suggestion for Jade. I love that name. And it's a boy, Jackson. That's a cute name. It's triplets. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. we got to get these aged up into toddlers before the baby update. I'm not dealing with triplet infants. I can't. I can't. Let's see. I've got a suggestion for Gavin. Jade, Jackson, and Gavin. Oh, we should have gone with a J name. It's okay. Is there anyone here we can flirt with? I think we've already had his kids. Whose kids are these? To be so honest. Oh, they're Akira's kids. Okay. We're going to invite Vivon over. Where's the third baby? Oh. We're just randomly in the toddler room, okay. We're gonna need to do an addition or maybe even just a brand new house when the infant update drops. All right, he's gonna be right over. Um, Serena, I'm gonna need you to super efficient baby care. <gasps> oh my God. Um, where'd he go? Gator, buddy? Okay, have 
fine. Oh, he's just over here. He's just over here. It's no worries. Oh my god, she couldn't get to the baby because Austin, Austin came back and was gonna feed the baby for us. An icon and a legend. We love Austin. I think Vivan walking on in and saying, oh no, what am I getting myself into? All right, Serena's gonna feed the babies. I'm going to lock the door for everyone but household members. We're just gonna get right to it. We're gonna blow a kiss. We're gonna make sure that no baby is crying. We're gonna try for baby. Oh, they're just gonna try for baby while the other baby is screaming. Um, yeah, that really sets the mood. Our little toddlers are awake now. Oh, they're like awake, awake. Why don't we come out here and work on some blocks? Austin and Sky are just chatting it up. And Serena finally taking care of that baby. And let's do it. Let's take a pregnancy test. She is not pregnant. Maybe next time. Maybe this time. Reach social level four. Fantastic, fantastic. Sky has school in about five hours and I can't have him be too tired for that. And we've got a baby crying again. AC is movement level two. Austin definitely wants to leave, um, but can't. We'll see about Serena. Take a pregnancy test. Oh, she's eating for two. Oh my God, literally as he steps out the door. I was so worried I was gonna have to make him come back over here. Serena, I'm going to need you to take care of the baby. And before you go to sleep, I need you to potty train Casey. We are up at five in the morning, potty training toddlers, tending to our newborns. So if you don't know about the baby update, you're gonna be able to like take them out of their crib. They're slightly smaller than a toddler and it's a whole new life stage. So when your babies are born, they'll still look like this, but then they'll become an infant before becoming a toddler. School for Sky starts in about an hour. See, this is why the energy level 10 beds are good because look, he's like basically perfectly well rested. Oh my gosh, and yes, get that communication up. You are already level three. A lot of times I just have them think what's that a bunch of times. And though it's slow, I don't think it's as slow as if you use the toddler iPad. Serena, tend to the babies. My goal is to like get them all on the same kind of schedule though, so that they're all like upset at the same time and all fall asleep at the same time. Sky's at school. I'm gonna make sure he studies hard. What I noticed is one of the recent updates, even if you have the good school's lot trait and they study hard at school, they don't age up in one day. It used to be like if they were a C student, it would take them one day to become a B student if you have the good school's lot trait and they study hard. But now it takes longer than that. So I really, really hope Sky can become an A student today. That's what we need. It's the school spelling bee and Sky has made it to the final round, but this time he's never even heard of the word he's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Sky sees the class brainiac flash him her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should he accept the help or give it his best guess? Give it your best shot. We value integrity. Okay, he got a performance gain from that. So it looks like because we have this golden check mark, we will be good to age up. And we do need to write a book. I believe we need to write Vivan, my love, but I don't know if we're ever gonna have time for that, to be quite honest. Let's go to sleep, please. And Gator is quite stinky. We are going to have to get Gator a bath at some point. I'm really trying to let Serena have her moment, even though she's barely gotten a second of sleep since the arrival of the triplets. Oh, Serena's getting a call. Congrats on the new addition to the family. You did deliver my babies. Thank you. Thank you. Should Sky invite over classmate Mickey? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. We need someone to occupy Sky while Serena is so busy. Oh, and Sky is an A student. Wait a minute. It's Sky's birthday. We can age up Sky. You know what? Let's age up Mickey as well. Mom may be too busy with the other kids to celebrate, but I'm here for you, Sky. Congratulations, Sky. Let's go. Sky aged up and is high maintenance. And we need a number between one and 16. And for aspiration, we are gonna do 10, which is romance. And that is gonna be one or two. And we're gonna do one. So Sky is a serial romantic, adventurous, and high maintenance. And Serena is gonna give you a hug, say congratulations on your birthday. Happy birthday to both of you. You guys can be the best of besties now. Ooh, yeah. look at Mickey with the blue eyeshadow, with the selfies. Now, Serena, I'm so sorry. You literally do not have time to just like be a person. I regret this. I regret moving Thunder and Sky out before Serena had the babies because that's the only reason we had space in the house for triplets. I'm imposing a new rule onto this household that no one is allowed to cook food using the stove because in my other 100 baby challenge that I stream on TikTok, every time someone uses the stove, except maybe to make a cake, it is game over. Everything catches on fire. It's it's an absolute mess. Why did you wash your hands in this sink? Sky really went to the bathroom here, came all the way over here to wash his hands and then all the way back over here to shower. Make it make sense. Serena, do you have it in you to potty train Gator before you go back to sleep or to tend to the newborn. Mickey is an icon because she just came over here to help us with the babies. And one of them is already 
crying again. Ha <laughs> ha yes. Ha <laughs> ha yibs. Gator is now potty level two. That's good. Serena, come over here and feed the baby, cuddle the baby, and then go to sleep. This is all she does. Feed the baby, cuddle the baby, go to sleep. Is anyone else having the problem that your Sims default to napping and never actually sleep unless you tell them to sleep? Because I have been having that problem and it's so frustrating. Newborns are tended to. We need to make sure homework is done. Sky's homework is complete. I'm actually gonna have him cook us another garden salad just to get that cooking skill up to hopefully level three. It's almost Jade's birthday. Wait, you mean they're almost toddlers? Oh my gosh. Literally her sleep is constantly in the red. I actually wonder if I just send her to sleep in this bed, like will that be any faster? How are you now? You need more thinking. I could have sworn that I did eventually get a toddler iPad. But you know what? Let's just think about things. What is fastest is if an adult teaches them blocks, but we can't have everything when there's only one adult and one teen in the house. I really shouldn't have gotten rid of Serena's energy 10 bed. Oh wait, it's Saturday. Oh, so Sky's not going to school. Wait, that is actually a benefit to us. Poor Casey, just forever staring at the TV being like, what is that? All right, let's go. Casey is thinking level two. Oh, what's the holiday? Neighborhood brawl. Oh no. Gator's up everyone and Gator is very hungry. So Gator is going to glitchy toddler walk and somehow summon a garden salad, I think. Yup, oh my god, Sky's helping with the baby. Serena's gonna grab some food. All the babies are asleep. That's fantastic. Casey is really chugging along with the skills. We are just working on our potty skills, I guess, today. Serena needs some fun, so I'm gonna put in her headphones. Ooh, and we have our birth certificates. I forgot about that. So we've had 24. Oh, wow. 24% of the way through the challenge, though. Oh my gosh, wait. We were trying to woohoo Thorn Bailey, right? And I made you all hashtag Thorn Bailey is over party in the comments because he didn't want to. Or what do we think? Should we be responsible and like write a book while Serena has a bunch of energy or should we try to woohoo Thorn Bailey? We could try and write a book. Oh wait, resume writing. New year, new me. Oh, she's writing a book. Oh, she's writing a book. Wait, why are we enraged? Worst day ever from high maintenance train. Oh no, oh no. Sky, can you come over here and feed the baby, cuddle the baby? Very useful to have a teen in the house, I have to be honest. Then, Sky, why don't you teach shapes to Gator? Yay, we're skill building. We're skill building we're sibling bonding we are very angry um but that's okay and we have another newborn that's upset casey is very hungry well then casey grab some food okay amazing gator is now level two of everything serena dislikes writing no bestie that's not her truth Ooh, we gotta clean up the house our house is messy who's this did we have your kids we did not have Paco jang's kids yet do a flirty introduction it's like a win in rome he's not gonna be here forever oh amazing we're already a suggestive conversation see i don't know why he is sad but let's try and cheer him up let's Let's have our first kiss. Oh, while she has her earbuds in. She's not listening to a word he's saying. Please, just the random first kiss in the background. I can't. All I'm trying to do is just have a constant stream of participants for our baby challenge. We're having a little get together before prom. It's prom. Sky's not ready for prom. Wait, Sky didn't even go to high school yet. Can't have prom in the beginning of the year. That's not how that works. Whoa, whoa, we're already steamy exchange. And he's gonna go take care of our kids. I feel bad when we don't get the friendship up. So what if we take a photo with? Haha, -ha, Yibsy. Oh, that, wait, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're so silly. They're so silly goofy. I just wish we could zoom out in these pictures because I don't think we can. Oh my god, they can already woohoo. I'm so sorry. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. Oh, washing dishes in the bathroom sink, of course. All right, he made it out alive. I was a little bit concerned because he is an elder. Serena, please make silly face. Cuddle the baby. And we already have another crying baby, but that's what is good about having Sky in the house. Serena's like, okay, that was a fun day, but I am ready to settle in and finish my, I don't know if this is a screenplay or a book, but whatever it is, she's finishing it. I think the toddlers are gonna be up at a random hour of the night, and so I want Sky to be able to help the toddlers with their skills, since that's like my main goal. I need those toddlers to become kids today. And these three are gonna be toddlers any second now. Serena has finished her book. Submit book copy to Literary Digest. It's an excellent screenplay. We're submitting it. New year, new me. Oh, Serena acquired the entrepreneur skill. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a mod that I have? Where'd the entrepreneur skill come from? I'm so confused about where these sims choose to wash their hands. Serena just went to the bathroom here and then washed her hands in this sink, which is now broken. And then when Sky went to the bathroom here, he washed his hands in this sink. But when Sky had to wash dishes, he came over here to this sink to do it. It's not like they can't get to those sinks. It's that they choose not to. And I think that's worse. We could age up the newborns right now, but I want to make sure that we don't have five toddlers at the same time. Our next order of business is to get the toddlers aged up. Okay, so Gator, you better get up because you are gonna be so hungry. Grab a serving. 
And Gator is a little bit further behind on the skills than I want. So we're gonna go potty just endlessly. And Casey is awake now too. Let's both just go potty a couple times. Serena literally gets like 10 minutes of sleep. Oh my gosh, it's wild. I wish I could tell her that like the dirty dishes can wait. Like it's actually fine if you can't get the dishes clean as soon as you're done using them. It's actually okay if you need to get some sleep. We had a horrible time at Neighborhood Brawl and you know what, it's fine. There's always next year. Let's go, Casey is level three of the potty skill. That means we just have imagination, movement, and thinking. So we'll play with toy. All right, we're so close to imagination level three. Look at that. Beautiful work. Let's get some movement going. Let's actually have Sky help with this. So let's do teach stack to Casey, teach stack to Casey, and then we're gonna teach shapes. And Serena, stop. Why do they watch the toddler? The thing is, in literally any other gameplay circumstance, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. She's checking in on the toddler. And I'm like, Serena, why are you leaving from your designated post? We run a tight ship over here, okay? Let's go. He's like, you see that block there? Stack it on top of the other one. We're doing so well. Let's gator on the potty. We're so close. We're so close. We're learning blocks. Serena, another baby, is upset. We have about 12 hours of in-game time until the triplets age up into toddlers. Should I get to know Alice Lewis? Of course. Why not? Grab a serving. I know he's very hungry. It's okay. Ooh, we're very close over here. Imagination level three. Wonderful. Why don't you also grab a serving? They're so cute. Look at those cheeks. Oh my god, he has the cutest cheeks. Oh my god, Serena's already at give birth in question marks? Oh, I think Sky is gonna go down as like one of my favorite Sims of the challenge just because of how nice it's been to have him help out with the toddlers. No, why are we going to sleep? Why are we going to sleep? I, I why are we going to sleep? No, Sky, no one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Life is pain. Just keep going. I'll always love you. I'll always love you. I literally, the timing of that when I just said I think Sky's gonna go down as one of my favorite kids in this challenge. Oh, wait, you're back. Hello, welcome back. Who are you? Shingo. Have we had your kids yet? We have not. We have not. No, we're very very sad from having a nightmare. You weren't even asleep though. Just put it all into the blocks. Take all that negative emotion, put it into the blocks, babe. Like put it in the book, put it in the blocks. Serena's gonna go do, uh, 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 why are we, why are we in the hospital gown? What made us think that like that was the correct outfit to put on? I don't know. Oh no, that's broken. I'm actually gonna have Serena repair it because we need her handiness to be higher so that she can upgrade her bed. I really should just buy her a different bed. I know, I know. Too scared to sleep in a bed. Oh, you know what you can do that? Shapes. Oh, Serena, I think she feels really grateful. She's like, oh my gosh, I don't think I could do this without you. This is like a race to the end. Like, I am so nervous that our toddlers will not be level three of their skills. Casey is so close. 85%. Reach thinking level three. Amazing work. As a baby sobs in my ear. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, I left some garden salad on the floor and now it's spoiled. Help blow out candles for Casey. And then Gator is gonna get up. Gator has had a nice little sleep there. And Serena is going to teach shapes to Gator. Gator. Okay, Casey aged up and is a loner. And we need a number between one and four. And we've got four. We've got social. I think I might have added some mods for more childhood aspirations. So let's randomize. Between one and three. Number two. It was it was two. Which I would say is child delinquent. Great. The newborn's literally sobbing. Sky's gonna take care of it. And how are we doing over here? 26% complete. Let's just keep it fast forwarded. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I think the newborns are gonna age up at like 9 p.m. in game time. Why are we crying? Why are we sobbing? It's okay, play with the blocks. Oh, and Austin Austin is here. I wish I could control Austin Austin when he was in my house because I feel like that'd be a lot easier to have someone else to help. But I guess that's the whole point is that we're not supposed to have someone else to help. All right, we're so close to thinking level three. You know what? For movement, doesn't the slide get their movement up so fast? Let's do a little outdoor slide. Why have an indoor slide when you can have an outdoor slide? Like these kids are aging up any second. Yup, literally right as I said it, right as I said it. Okay. Jackson aged up and is bussy. Oh my God. Here we are. Jade aged up and is a charmer. And Gavin aged up and is angelic. Okay. They are not my focus right now. <laughs> we're all gonna watch Gator. So cute. So cute. I love the slide. Right off the bat, we're gonna potty train Jade. Just get someone potty trained because that's like the, the most time intensive one. And are we almost movement level three? Oh my God. Poor Gator's needs. <gasps> no. Somebody took a slice of the cake. Gator is now moving 
movement level three, congratulations. But who's gonna be around to help you age up and also have a cake for aging up? Oh my God, he looks so upset. Nice job, Jade. Serena, let's go to sleep. Sky, we're gonna add some birthday candles. We are going to help blow out candles for Gator. Come on, here we go. Oh, here we go. The sigh of relief that I am sighing at this moment. Gator aged up and is insecure. And we need another number between one and four, which is one. That one is between one and two, which is also one. Okay. Gator is going to be animal obsession. Obsessed with the animals. No! mood. What better place to wrap up this portion of the 100 baby challenge than with Serena passing out, toddlers having no actual supervision, Casey sleeping peacefully, Serena going into labor literally at any second. I think this sets us up for an absolutely chaotic next episode, which will be after the infant update is out. So do make sure that you like this video. Comment down below if you do want to see more. I hope you enjoyed this. I definitely hope to be uploading more of these videos as well as my build videos. So do make sure to subscribe with notifications on. I stream a lot of 100 baby challenge on TikTok and we do the Not So Berry Challenge on Twitch. So make sure you're following over there as well. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!